We are now going to look at fill and stroke and how we can work with those in InDesign. Both shapes and text have a fill and a stroke. Line segments only have strokes. Let's start with the line segment. So here I've already drawn a line segment and you'll notice that even if I change the fill here, nothing happens to my line segment. Line segments just have strokes and if I change that you can see that changes. So with that line segment I can change the color of that stroke, the size, the type. If I click on stroke I have additional options. For example I can round the ends. I can also choose to make my stroke a dashed line, changing the color of the dash if I want to. To draw that line segment, all I do is hold the shift key down and that'll keep the line segment perfectly straight. Shapes have a fill and a stroke. So if I change the fill here, you can see that that changed. When you just have an object with a stroke and not a fill. See, I'm trying to click on it and I can't. But if I click on the stroke, I can now select that object. Once I change a fill, I can then change the tint of that fill. You can also color pick different colors and you can add any tint that you've created to your swatches panel. Type also has a fill and a stroke. To change it, you need to select all of your text with Command A, and then notice you have a fill. In this case, our fill is black, and you can change the stroke color. So let's make that our tint, and I can change the size of it. That is the fill and stroke. Something else that you have, in addition to a tint, is an opacity. So I want you to compare side by side what the difference is between tint and opacity. So we're going to make a copy of this and on this one over here we're going to change the fill to a 50 percent tint. So you can see that's a gray. I'm going to select this first one and I'm going to change the opacity to 50 percent. Now these look very similar but look how these are going to interact differently. So for one, notice when I applied my opacity, it also applied to the stroke. And then when I overlap this, you can see I can see that color beneath it. On this one, I can't. So opacity is see-through or transparent and tint is simply a lighter color. Finally, once you've worked with fills and strokes, you can also add effects to either the entire object, the fill, or a stroke. To access that, go to Window and Effects, and you can see here we can add it to the object, to the stroke, or to the fill. And all of your effects are located 